What's going on, y'all? So, so we are back again for an all new episode of Love and Hip Hop. Yes, it was one on last week, or I should say yesterday, and now it's one on today. Let me just do this right quick, because I know somebody gonna ask about the VMAs. Let me tell you something. I looked at part of the first hour. I skimmed through the rest of that shit, because I had other stuff more important to watch. Okay, the show was boring as hell. Don't bring Katy Perry back as a fucking host. Um, the video Vanguard Award, I expected more from um, Pink's little performance, given the way that they used to do the past few years, how they used to do the stuff. It, it was very lackluster to me. I loved her speech, you know. I loved the little speech that Logic did, you know, for his song after his performance and the suicide and mental illness awareness stuff. I loved that. Um, I was like, damn, put Chance up there too. Okay, Kendrick Lamar opened up. That was my favorite performance of the night. Um, Fifth Harmony, I caught the shade when the little girl went back. I said, oh, all right. You know, they did my song, Angel, and then they did Down. And, you know, the little black girl, I don't know their names or whatever, because I ain't even checking for Fifth Harmony like that. I did listen to their album. It's cute or whatever. I like the song, Angel. But that black girl, she sold me, okay, because when she did that split, I said, bitch, all right, do that shit. All right, Ed Sheeran, whatever. One Ed Sheeran performance really wasn't nothing until Uzi Vert came out there. I said, come on with the show. This little motherfucker just popped up out of nowhere, all right? And then, who else? Uh, Katy Perry performance at the end, it was it was lackluster. Nicki couldn't even say that shit. And it was just, I don't know. Lord, baby, if you had the flu or whatever, don't come back on this show just dancing like that. I was just not here for it. Shawn Mendes, I don't even know who you are. And everybody else, I love Julia Michaels. I wish they wouldn't have interrupted her stuff. So, you know, that's it. I could have did without a whole bunch of other shit. I don't, if I didn't mention it, I don't care. Okay. That That's basically what was the VMAs. It was trash. It was really trash. Moving on from that, let's get into this review for Love and Hip Hop. We start off with, um, you know, what's her name? Ray J in the studio. He trying to get a hit. I'm so glad that you really realized that you ain't had a hit in a long time. He was like, my last hit was what? Sexy Can I? He was like, he trying to um do something. Then Bridget Kelly come up in there and I said, Bridget, Bridget, your career has sunk this low that you are now resulting as the last result on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood and then fucking around with Ray J. That motherfucker can't get himself a hit. So how is he going to get you a hit? And I don't know what is going on with her because she is so talented of a songwriter, of a singer, whatever. Like you said, she was with Jay-Z and... I don't, I don't, I don't get how come she didn't pop the way she did because I liked every song that she put out, you know, and he trying to change her image and stuff. She trying to get away from a certain image. She sings a little acapella song. Ray J saying that it's the same thing that she said that she trying to get away from. Then he suggests her basically being damn near naked on the fucking piano in the bikini. And I'm sitting here like, you can look at Bridget and tell by the stuff that she sings and the way that she presents herself. That is not what she about. And I said, if you don't get out of here, then you want to do a song talk about some pussy so good. She looking like... And I said, that was your cue to get the fuck up, Bridget. Like, girl, come on. Um, After that, we get this whole thing with Masika and Moniz on Black Hollywood Live doing a little podcast or whatever. Basically reading or trying to read Nasal. Nasal. Ugh. It just came so easily. Trying to read Hazel and how she looks and who she is. Uh, it was just tired. It was tired. I'm, I didn't chuckle at one point, okay? I mean, it was cute that they did call Nikki. They was like, Nicole, I said, oh, you giving out governments and shit. But they was like, she walking around in these little Spanx ass um, dresses looking like a fucking condom. I said that was kind of funny to me. It made me chuckle just a little bit. But other than that, you know, then you going in on Hazel. Uh, you went in on Hazel. You went in on Nikki. Then you go in on Alexa Sky. And, you know, I guess they bought a girl called of uh, this particular girl code that says, if you got a, um, f uh, a problem with one of my friends, then I got a problem with you, even if I don't know that bitch, okay? To be quite honest... I'm not here about that shit. Is my eye red? I did just rub it. I hope it's not. Okay, I hope I'm just tripping. But anyway, it was just stupid. Moniz, you putting yourself and making enemies just off the riff of 
fucking Masika, okay? Because Masika can't, you know, handle her own shit. Like, you can't sit down and talk to this bitch. I'm pretty sure if you just talk to that bitch, all this shit will be fucking done, all right? You know, it is what it is. Moving on from that, we see Alexis meeting up with Nigga DeVille, and she get mad. The whole thing about her popping up at the studio and um saying... I told you to check that bitch and you did this. How are you getting mad at him? Because he can tell that girl, don't say nothing to her. Don't do this. Don't do that. That bitch going to do whatever the fuck she want to do. And that's exactly what it is. So don't get mad at him. All of I put all the blame on him. Put it on her too because she's an insecure bitch too. Just like you. All right. He apologized for all that. And he apologized for calling her pass around puss. You know, but... She don't see the stuff going further. And the only reason why now we get into how they got so close so quick because they already knew each other. And most likely they fucked before they even became this one month stand. So he tried to put it out there and say that she he wasn't fucking her while he was with old girl Sarah. But I really don't believe that. But you know, it is what it is. So, Tierra go meet up with Amber because Amber, you know, hit her up on social media like, let's sit down and talk. And I said, if y'all go to blows over this egghead ass nigga, y'all dumb as fuck. And Amber, you a fine ass bitch, okay? You fine as fuck, but you dumb as shit. And that is a fucking turn off, okay? I cannot. I cannot. Like, that is a fucking turn off when you're dumb and you don't know your fucking worth, okay? Tierra sat there and her whole thing was... They was trying to compare notes. She was like, it started off cool. You don't know me. I don't know you. He was telling me that he was done with you or that he wasn't talking to nobody. I'm up in his hotel. My stuff is there. We've been fucking. We've been having sex and all that stuff. I can give you, you know, the um, address to the hotel, uh, what time I'm going to be there so you can come up in there and you can see for yourself the stuff that he's telling me and all this shit. And I was like, okay, cool. Come. That's, that's fine. You know, Tierra looked like she was ready to pop the bitch anyway. And I was just sitting here like, Amber, don't say nothing out of line. Bitch, Tierra must have not drunk that day because she was kind of cool and collected for a minute. You know, even when the girl called her a bitch at the end, I said, ooh, okay, bitch. I said, wait a minute, somebody finna fight. But that didn't happen. But see, this is where shit went a little bit left. Because all of a sudden, you know, Tierra asked the question, so are you still trying to be with him or whatever? She was like, no, I'm not going nowhere. You know, he treats me good. He's a good man and he's all this. But he's cheating on you. And I'm pretty sure it's you're not the only bitch that he's fucking. So, are you dumb? Are you really dumb? You so fine, bitch, okay? And I'm pretty sure you could find a better looking motherfucker who got better ends if that's what you're looking for. Like, girl, you dumb. You you don't know your self-worth and all that shit. I said, all right. You know, Tierra whole thing is she trying to bust his shit up and make it seem. Do a Brooke Valentine, you know? Break up. Make him break up with old girl and then she tossed him to the curb too. I said, girl, it ain't going to really work because she going to still be with that nigga anyway, you know. So, moving on from that, Ray J in the um studio with A1. They listening to his new song, That Pussy So Good. See, this is the fact. This is the thing. Y'all try to make hits and be so commercial with it or whatever and this urban shit. Like, I mean, some of it be good, but this overtly sexual shit, pussy so good. It's tired, Ray J. You are fucking married. You are a married man. You're trying to have kids and you're still singing about the same thing you were singing about when you was in your 20s. Okay? You're almost fucking 40 years old. All right? You need to calm that shit down. You need to, you know, chill the fuck out and do some more mature ass shit. And maybe you'll get a hit off of that. We can see through the bullshit, okay? You ain't out here fucking all these bitches the way that you claim that you are in these songs or whatever because you at home with princess. And that's if you're not cheating on the bitch okay so let's stop it and then you got Bridget Bridget you really was on this shit I said uh uh you make me mad for that girl I had high hopes for your ass Jesus fuck you know you trying to fit in with the in crowd and stuff A1 looking like what you know she was on Rock Nation so she, and the way that A1 said that shit it was like so she went from Rock Nation to you <laughs> that's how he said it and I was like yup 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 you know he did she did and so they was like so what's going on with um Princess Princess you know he gotta build his sperm up that's what he said he Google shit 
Everybody went to Google shit, probably was wrong, but whatever. He trying to not jack off for five days or whatever. But unfortunately, he did so on the couch that A1 was doing. I pulled out a picture of Princess, and you know, Shawty was looking good as fuck. And I just had to let go. Right there on that couch, right there where you sitting at. I said, too much information. Me and A1 was on the on same page. Too much information. We didn't need to hear all that, okay? But Princess rolled up in there. He was, before that, he was talking about um, going to the Mandarin Hotel or whatever, doing a photo shoot with Bridget Kelly, and they haven't discussed this with, you know, Princess. He hasn't really been home. He's been sleeping in the studio. Princess rolled up in there with this cape. I said, bitch, you channel, you think you really bail, huh? Beauty and the Beast up in this bitch with your little cape on and shit. No, girl, stop playing. But, you know, she said, it's my design, just like it's your song or whatever, because the song was playing. Y'all saw how quickly he pulled that cord out. Boop. What was ha what happened? Um, and she was like, "I'm ovulating." A one didn't want A one was about to go. Ray J didn't want him to go, so she was like, "I got I was ovulating yesterday, today, and tomorrow, so we gotta do this shit." He was like, "Listen, you gonna fuck up the surprise, okay? I'm gonna take you down to the Mandarin Hotel. I got a hotel room for tomorrow. We gonna jazz that shit up, and we gonna put it in there. We gonna do this thing." I said, "You just released your load already, so what you talking about?" A1 sitting there, bruh, A1 no, okay? He's just like, you don't have to do all this shit and you're going to fuck yourself up. But okay, do what you got to do. Then we get to this shit with AD sitting down with Moniz, wanting her to have this sit down with um Tiffany, her best friend. And by the way, Tiffany is cute too. Tiffany, you too cute to be this press, all right? And I'm going to tell you why you press. I understand, you know, why they did their little podcast, um, you know, Moniz went in on Tiffany. And to be quite honest, I'm not even mad that Mo she... I mean, you made your business public. That's one thing. But I'm not upset that she said something. Because Tiffany, to be quite honest, I feel like you're out of line. All right? That is your best friend. You respect the relationship whether you like the bitch or not. Your friend is in that relationship. You're not. Sometimes people have to learn and go through lessons or whatever to see what's going on, okay? It's a lesson learned. They have to go through things to see what it is, okay? Let her go through this, all right? She's not going to listen to you. And who are you to come up in here and try to judge another person and speak on their motherhood and all this stuff? So Monique had every right to be fucking pissed off and said what the fuck she said about your ass. You want a fucking apology or AD, you really thought that she was going to give her an apology? That girl has spoken and said some negative shit about Monique. Monique didn't really have a problem until the girl started talking negative about her and you want Monique to go on here to give her apology first no the girl talking about she's not a lesbian she's this she's that bitch who fucking cares she is with old girl and you're not get the fuck over it monice gave her more airtime than i would have okay because it's just i mean i i understand looking out for your friend but sometimes like i said your friend gotta go through some stuff and they gotta figure it out on their own okay because they're not always gonna listen just let her be happy if everything is okay let her be happy the fact of the matter is she wants the girl and it's clear as fucking that somebody in the comments yesterday said that ad looks like a cross of ruby rose y'all remember ruby rose from um orange is the new black season five um or the, yeah was it the season before last season this current season we in season six season five whichever fucking one and channing tatum and i sat here and i was like this channing tatum with the face Ruby Rose, a little bit of the person. I said, bitch, that's exactly what the fuck it is. And then to see Ellen ass on um MTV, the um, VMAs last night, I was like, bitch, <laughs> y'all some trash. Ray J tried the fuck out of Princess, okay? You know, <laughs> Ray, like A1 said, bitch, he on this thing two for one special, okay? He really brought Ray, uh, uh, Princess up in that um hotel room, and you got the lights and camera set up. Dudes coming out the back. She like, you want me to sit on this bed? It looked like somebody already sat on it. I mean, I thought we just came up in here. What the fuck is going on? And then here comes um, you talking about some. You want to do this photo shoot right quick? I would 
would have been just like princess you really thought she was gonna go for that shit i would have been mad too bitch you came you you told me this under the impression that we was gonna have time together we've been all over europe and all this stuff and you come home and you more so about your music than anything you're not about me you're not putting that much into this relationship it's just like how you was last year when you was all about the scooty bike and then you bring me to this fucking hotel bitch you could have fucked me on the couch at home okay bitch i could have been doing the dishes and you could have fucked me there it don't fucking matter what are you talking about that's what princess was on and i'm sitting here like i fucking agree and then bridget come out and you didn't put her in a position that you know bridget might feel like princess might be mad at her because she didn't know that you didn't tell her about this whole thing and then you brought her up in here so you fucking up stupid shit and i'm sitting here like but bridget i'm still pissed at you for even going along with being with this motherfucker and being on this song and then looking at what you got on i said you damn right you do look like you about to break out in a marriott tune boom 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 that shit and speaking of last fucking night at 12.38 in the fucking morning, my neighbors decided to just turn that music up all the way fucking up. I said, you got to be out your goddamn mind. You bitches ain't got to work in the morning, bitch. Okay? And then it's the same polka ass Mexican shit. And I'm sorry. I love me some, you know, reggaeton and some other Mexican artists too. Um, but they play the same exact shit. It just annoys the fuck out of me. I said, could you at least shuffle up the goddamn playlist? update that shit bitch okay it's so annoying and then he gonna tell her just look at pretty girl and and, and be pretty girl and all this stuff don't think mariachi i said he got you up here looking a fool bridget okay you're just dumb then you know there's this performance that's gonna go on with marcus black we forgot all about him and brooke gonna show up and looking like she you know it just why i don't i don't understand maybe because I don't, I don't like playing games, but don't play games with me. If you fucked around on me and I caught you in the act and all this stuff and then you still going to act stupid, bitch, we're over, we're done. Ain't no trying to play with the putty and make it seem as if you got to chase this shit if you want it back or whatever. No, we're fucking done, okay? Brooke, you was never done with him, so I don't know why you going through all these hoops and bounds and stuff trying to make it seem like you really doing something by teasing him, by showing up and all this shit. You still supporting this motherfucker. So... Girl, get the fuck out of here with that. Your song was whack, Marcus. You talk about booby. Okay, bitch, you was whack as fuck too. That shit, I heard that before somewhere else, but somebody else who did it better. Okay, fine. Monique is there with Nia because, you know, she said she wants to support uh, support fellow new artists. I said, what other artists are you talking about? She said, moi. I said, you? She said, yes. And I said, no. I said, what the fuck? Stop playing. Monique been saying she was an artist... For past two seasons, and we ain't heard real shit of nothing. I mean, she probably released something, but it ain't go no fucking well, okay? Bitch, don't nobody care. Just like when you came on this show the first damn season selling hot dicks that didn't get off the ground, okay? Snoop then came in from um Loving Hip Hop New York and took over that shit. Bitch, girl, get out of here with that. She called Lyrica D-Lyrica. Now, let me tell you something. I don't know the beef that she got with Moniz, um with um Lyrica, but... Girl, you can't come for that girl, especially, you know, she in a stable relationship for the most part. And like she said, come back to me when you get a, um, when you get some hits on your belt. Cause she said, yes, I am that bitch. You know, when you work, work, uh, uh, work with Wiz Khalifa, I said, bitch, you better name your shit down. Even though I was like, girl, don't nobody give a fuck. But I said, you know, sometimes you just got to go ahead and stun on the hoe when they try so much. Okay. Monique's try her a little bit, but I get where Monique is coming from. You want to want her to come to your um. She told Brooke, album release party. She was like, no, it's not the album release. It's a pre-album release. Girl, are you serious? I mean, because you've been working on this album forever. So when is it ever going to drop? And I said, Lyrica, why you try to shade her and tell her about herself in the confession? You should have told that bitch that that right there. Okay? She said, first of all, bitch, you ain't never been out in a long time. So what the fuck are you talking about? And I said, that's true, you know. But Brooke had a hit song under her belt and you don't. 
I mean, I'm talking about not written, but I'm talking about actually you as an artist singing. You ain't got no hit song. You literally could be putting out stuff here and there, but it ain't nothing that's been on the charts and been number one and all that stuff, you know, that's making the world shake or, you know, everybody be like, Brooke Valentine, who the fuck's that? The girl fight shit? We know that. That's all we know about. Girl fight. We don't know you about nothing else, okay? Y'all should be hitting miss too when, as an artist, you know? So, hey, whatever. But you did kind of read Brooke, and I agree with it. <laughs> How you gonna shade her? You ain't even got shit out yourself. But um, you know, she goes over there and she tried to invite Monice and um Nia to the thing and um you know, Monique said that she's not going to come because Alexa Sky was there and was going to go. Alexa Sky had left earlier because she said she knew something was going to pop off um, if she would have stayed. But, you know, the same reason why Monique don't want to come because she knows she's, something's going to pop off. So she said she's trying to be a better person. I could respect that. But, girl, I was here with what Lyrica said, you know. You act, you a messy bitch, but then you don't want to show up. And I, it, it, it's, it's all... It's all dumb. It's all dumb. But, you know, Monique was like, she gonna beat the bitch ass. And Lyrica turned the fuck around and said, you gonna be my ass? Be my ass. I said, you know what? <laughs> y'all gotta fucking stop playing no damn well. Y'all ain't finna put hands on nobody. But that was cute. So, you know, Ray meets up with um, Princess out there by the water. It was really nice and shit. I need to go out there again. Okay? Like, I went out to L.A. a couple of years ago, but it wasn't really to explore. Like, I mean, I was in a rich part of town, and I ain't know how to do, I ain't know how to deal with the shit because I felt like a peasant. I really felt like a fucking peasant. I was like, bitch... I'm looking at Lamborghinis, Bentley, Maserati, Rolls Royce, Rafes, and all that shit. And I'm just like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? But anyway, you know, he going out there and he telling her, um, you know, she's just trying to come down to the, wh wh why are you avoiding me? And then he finally admits the fact that, hey, you know, I apologize for what happened at the hotel. And I went to the doctor and, you know, I got a low sperm count, but I'm going to try to work on it. And Princess, see, Princess wasn't even pissed off. She was just glad at the fact and taking it back that he actually went to the doctor to get himself checked out. And that's going to show that he's taking it seriously. Okay, it's cute. Lyrica, Alexa Sky, and uh, Hazel E, they meet up. Of course, Lyrica had to tell her what happened after Alexis left with Monice and all that shit and how she called her a bitch and how she wouldn't come to the release party because of Alexis guy. And I'm surprised Hazel didn't say something. Hazel went in on somebody's kid, and I'm pretty sure it was probably Monice. Bitch, what you don't do is you don't touch... We, we learned this already. You don't do nothing with the kids, okay? Like, I don't know who kid she went in on, but you don't do shit like that. Um, I wasn't here when Monique said that shit about somebody's kid last time. You don't do no stuff like that. No. But I guess what goes around comes around. Um, she even said that, you know, the only reason why Monique do this stuff is because she's friends with um, Masika. And so, once again, Masika got people drawing the line in the sand and being on her side because she won't confront the issue right head on. Which I agree, in a sense. But then, you know, Alexis is like, the fuck you got a problem with me for because of this bitch and all this shit, you know. You a raggedy ass bitch and um, you just... My, you just got to watch out because I might have some stuff up my sleeve because once you come for me, I'm going to come back at you. I said, okay, whatever. And then Hazel had the fucking nerve to say that this they just can't take that. It's some new cute blood up in here. I said, bitch, whatever. Alexis was like, I got hundreds of thousands of followers that can take her down and all this shit. Girl, no, you can't. Okay? No, you can't. Them hundreds of thousands of followers can't even get you a better wig, bitch. Like, stop it. Stop it. All right? Um... Hazel had the nerve to fucking say, this is Hollywood, the land of the fake, the fraud, and the phony. And I said, yourself, bitch, why are you sitting here, girl, your fucking self? So, you know, Masika's supposed to leave, be shopping for a new place, and M M Nia and Monice meet up with her. And, of course, they got to tell her what happened, and then now Monice is involved with this Alexis Sky bullshit. Alexis Sky putting on Instagram about how y'all mad because I look like this and all this stuff. I'm like, that is so fucking tired. That is a tired ass fucking try to insult somebody. Like, come up with something better. Because your booty ain't better than nobody else's booty. It's both fucking, fuck, your body is fucking fake, okay? Just like everyone else's body is fake. So, y'all comparing who did the best work? I mean, I'm confused, you know? But, uh, two weeks is fucking on. And, you know, Monice is like, 
you tried it. Now I'm about to get involved. And at first I was going to let the shit go. But then I'm on Instagram live with my family cooking with my mom and stuff. And then this bitch want to come on there talking about me, talking about my motherhood and all this shit. You know, and I'm going to be quite honest. The shit talking about the girl motherhood and shit, it's old as fuck. Okay. Get, find something else. That's the only thing that y'all can try to come at Monique's about. All right. And it's just like, it's played out. Okay. Been there, done that, find a new insult, all right? You know, go in on the bitch titties or whatever the fuck. I'm, I'm, it's over. It's, it's, it's played. You have no, it's dumb. It's dumb. And so, of course, now Monique's talking about something. She's going to beat the bitch ass, all right? And I'm just looking at Masiga like, won't you handle this shit? I think it was either Nia that said, now, you need to take care of this shit. Like, you really do. Sit your ass down with the bitch so the bitch can fucking stop. You, 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 you putting your friends in so they can fight your battle for you and all that shit, it's stupid, it's stupid, and Tiara showing up at Amber's place or whatever, setting up Cisco, Amber already told you that she ain't going nowhere, okay, so, you know, Amber, let me tell you how dumb you are, you love this man, he said, and Tiara said she loved him, he never, not once, said that he loved neither one of y'all, okay, he never even came close, and he don't, and y'all finna act a fool and look stupid over this motherfucker, like, do what you do, you're just dumb, so Cisco lies and tell Amber that she was the one that he was finna end it with, even though you was just about to fuck her while she declaring her love, Amber goes back there, get dressed, she about to leave, he tells her don't leave yet, Tierra about to leave, he tells her don't leave, Amber was like, you know, I got fucked up choices in men, and obviously you do too, and Tierra was like, yup, 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 and I'm just sitting here like, just both of y'all leave, and then all of a sudden, he wants to get all bossed up, and, and, and big in his chest, what the fuck you want me to do, you stress me out, and she, she was fun, I'm sitting here like, so just because you got stressed out or whatever and situation get a little bit deeper than you thought, it's okay and they give you permission to go on out there and cheat or whatever. No, you end the relationship and you go on to somebody else. That's how the fuck you do it. And you expect them to be okay with it. Nigga, get the fuck out of here. Love and hip hop, y'all. Y'all tell me how y'all feel. Peace. Oh, yeah, before I go, y'all go over there and, um, you know, send some prayers or whatever to, uh, Kevin from the Scorpion show. His mom had emergency surgery yesterday. So, and you know, the difficulties that he's been having with his, um, his mother and everything, and you know how much he love him, uh, love her. So, you know, send some prayers over there his way. Okay. Peace.